Tales of the Forgotten Volume 2 In our last video just a couple of days ago, we broke into this new lore book to unpack what it's all about. We first talked about the drowned captain, what happened to them, and Ido trying to learn the truth about this mysterious Elixni leader. You can find links to that video and part 3 when it's out in the description below, but as of today, let's start with the Legion Lost, stories of this mysterious cabal group that suffered a terrorizing fate. Listen, here is the story of the Legion Lost, who saw a final dishonor at the hands of an enemy. War hardened, tusk proud, bonded in battle, broken at last in their deathless death, felled by light eaters, fated to be taken. Many times the story has been told, we tell it again. The Legion Lost, warded into this teeming place, ruined scattered earth for a shame destined foe. Few could stand their might, so great was it. They scoured the earth with a ship and steel, gilded and gleaming, heaped in glory. They took what was there to be taken, lives and loss. And these headless ones, Keitel began, tilting down her tusks in contemplation. They are warriors? Oh yes, Ido said, looking up at the Cabal Empress. In fact, they may be Cabal in origin. I am investigating the stories now. Your retainers mentioned a similar tale, and I understand your people have a strong oral tradition. Surely there are accounts of flaming heads, swords of unusual size. Keitel considered this. There have been Cabal who have eaten fire, walked through fire and belched fire, but that is all. I see, said Ido, crestfallen. Kaido put one massive hand on Ido's shoulder. There were many warriors with their heads on fire, she offered in consolation, but not continuously. After the drowned captain disappeared, Ido said to the gathered hatchlings, the cabal claimed the cavern as their own. The hatchlings muttered darkly, mimicking their elders' prejudices against the cabal. But the very first night of their occupation, a figure appeared in the mouth of the cave, Ido said. It had a big round head and flames poured from its giant mouth. It was a headless one. Did they get eaten? A tiny hatchling squeaked. Even worse, she said. The creature ripped off their heads and left their bodies roaming around the cavern, bumping into walls. She stuck out all four arms and moaned dully. And that's where they remain to this very day, she concluded. Earth was war wounded, light devoured. The Legion laws grasped victories where they could. Ungoverned, burned in spirit, born bitterly, they fought with honor until honor fled them. Here was how they found first death, where the Legion laws moved forward to their curse, they found an enemy too fierce for them to fell. Cornered, Cowed, the Legion Lost made to take great caves and hidden places, a final stand made to hoard their honor. Life given, broken, made to suffer, they saw their end before them. Like a wild war beast, the Light Eater descended, the Legion Lost dealt defeat by their hands. Thank you for speaking with me, Ido said cheerfully. The Scion bowed its head, and Ido did the same. I've conducted an interview with Empress Keitel already, but I am hoping that you could further illuminate the subject. Ido felt a soft, blooming sensation in the forefront of her mind, gracious acquiescence. I am searching for more information about the Headless Ones, and the thought of a creature without a head sent up a spike of adrenaline, a flash of sickening terror that burst into Ido's mind so violently that she jumped. The Scion's own thoughts only compounded its fear. Ido's eyes widened. Oh, I'm screaming, purple flames pouring from empty eyes. I'm so sorry, I... Screaming, a burst of confetti. I didn't mean to... Screaming, candy, candy everywhere. To upset you. About 13.2 kilograms, Cryptar Garelli read from the scales. 
Ido wrung both sets of hands uncomfortably. The laboratory walls were lined with hundreds of canopic jars filled with preserved organs and appendages. She recognized many of them as elixni. Is that heavy? Ido inquired. The cryptarch arched an eyebrow at her. Quite heavy for confetti. You say the headless ones emit a shower of this material upon death? They do, Ido replied. Along with an edible the guardians call candy, she tried unsuccessfully to keep the disgust from her tone. The cryptarch shook his head in disbelief. Aside from its density, which is incredible, this confetti is identical to the stuff humans use during pre-Dark Age celebrations. Ido's eyes twinkled with inspiration. Celebrations like the Hall Between. But less than death the Legion lost became. In their great shame at the end of their battle, great weapons fell from their grasp. But whispered were they into new wandering, dark forged and taken into shameful embrace. The Legion lost gained their name in death. Cursed charged, terror torn, they raised eyes darkened, then lit with flame, sword screaming, rising from purple pyres. Heads aflame, their end was found in endlessness. No more wandering or warring in these lands. The Legion Lost live as shame and story. And these monsters exist? Lord Saladin asked, his voice grave. Ido nodded nervously. I have ample evidence for their existence. I know that they have flaming pumpkin heads and that they're filled with candy, Ido said stiffly. And loot. They're also filled with loot. Lord Saladin considered this. Ido could not discern what he might be thinking. But I questioned Glynn's conclusions about their origins, she added. The Iron Lord stared her down. You heard about this from Glint? Yes, I... I don't have time for this, Saladin said and walked away. I interviewed several of Empress Keidel's retainers in the tower. They believe the Headless Ones are Red Legionnaires, trapped by an eternal curse. That don't make a lick of sense. If the Cabal turned immortal just by getting their butts kicked, they'd be as old as me by now. Cabal legends also tell of the Headless Ones. Their tales say the monsters are cursed by the shame of defeat. You gotta hand it to the Cabal. They got one track mind. Everything comes back to honor, victory, and the size of their tusks. So there you have it, Guardians. Hope you enjoyed this tale of the Legion Lost. Like I said, you can find the Drowned Captain and also Part 3 Ido's Findings when it's available in the description down below. If you'd like to see some other Destiny lore and mysteries just like this video, please be sure to subscribe to the channel. Anyway, I thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you all in the next video.